Hi, I am Anusha. I make videos related to beauty and lifestyle. If this is something that interests you, please take a moment to click that subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Today I am going to be sharing a haul video with you all. I realized that I have not done a haul video in the past six months. Like I have done it six months ago. and uh, i am not doing hauls from then so i thought let's share my recent purchases with you all so without further ado let's get started with today's video the first on the list is this eye cream from cosrx it is their snail peptide eye cream uh, this has got 72% snail secretion filtered it has got a lot of peptides it has got niacin mid in there and it feels so hydrating moisturizing and soothing under the eyes and i have already made a detailed review about this product i leave the link somewhere in the i card or in the description box you can go and check the complete review of this product next i got this vitamin c 23 from cosrx again a viral product from cosrx it has got 23% pure l ascorbic acid and it has also got vitamin e and hyaluronic acid and it has got many other skin brightening ingredients like glutathione niacinamide licorice root extract we have got a lot of skin brightening ingredients antioxidant ingredients and skin hydrating and skin moisturizing kind of ingredients included in this formulation within like 5 days to 1 week i can see a clear difference on my skin after i started using this product my skin usually look looks dull by evening time but since i started using this product um, my skin is looking very fresh even in the evening time so i think i really loved this product and i have also made a detailed review and uploaded and i'll leave the link to the review in the description box so if you want to go and check the full review of the product you can go and do that so yeah those are like the two products and the third product is from dr shade it is their ceramide and vitamin c oil free moisturizer the I have been using this moisturizer a lot since it is getting warm outside I need something very very light for the day time so I am using this moisturizer it has got I think a couple of silicones and uh, it has got humectants hydrating kind of ingredients it has got ceramides a little bit of vitamin C don't expect too much vitamin C from this moisturizer it has got only 1% vitamin C but still as a moisturizer it works very very well it hydrates my skin so much without being greasy or tacky on the skin it just absorbs so quickly and adds a lot of hydration so i like this moisturizer so much if you have oily skin and if you are looking for a very light moisturizer that can add a lot of hydration into the skin along with ceramides then you can definitely consider the one from dr shade next i have one sunscreen from aqua logica it is a radiance plus dewy sunscreen with watermelon and niacinamide This is a very lightweight sunscreen and it absorbs into the skin so so well and it leaves like this very hydrated and fresh and glowing look on the skin. I like this sunscreen so much but the one thing is it has benzophenone 3 so if you are not comfortable using benzophenone 3 this is not the sunscreen for you but if you are then it is a very very good sunscreen especially for the coming summer. It has got this little bit of cooling sensation on the skin. which feels like a relief in the summer time so if you are okay with benzophenone 3 you can happily go and purchase this product anyway i am uploading the detailed review of this product soon so you can tune in i bought a lot of sunscreens in the past 3 months i think and i have already uploaded reviews of this product so i am not including those sunscreens in the haul but i leave the links of that videos in the description i think around i have reviewed 6 to 8 sunscreens you can go and check that out next we have one more sunscreen. green option it is the mama earth aqua glow hydrating sunscreen with himalayan thermal water and hyaluronic acid again this sunscreen has got a very light texture absorbs so beautifully into the skin and it just feels like a hit of fresh water on the skin it feels that hydrating but the thing is it has got this a little bit of strong fragrance and the fragrance also lingers for about 30 minutes so if you have got sensitive nose then you may not like this product then again also it has has got i think benzophenone 3 just yes it has also got benzophenone 3 in the formulation so again if you are not comfortable with benzophenone 3 and if your nose is sensitive to strong fragrances then this is not a sunscreen option for you but otherwise if you want to try it texture wise it is a really really good sunscreen i am also uploading the detailed review of this product super super soon 
नेक्स्ट आई हैव वन मॉइस्चराइजर फ्रॉम डॉट एंड की इट इज़ अ सेरामाइड्स एंड हाइलोरॉनिक स्किन बैरियर रिपेयर प्लस फेस क्रीम आई हैव एम्पटीड वन फुल ट्यूब ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस इज माई सेकेंड वन इट फील सो मॉइस्चराइजिंग सो सूथिंग एट वेरी लाइट वेट ऑन द स्किन जनरली आई यूज दिस मॉइस्चराइजर एज नाइट टाइम मॉइस्चराइजर इट हैज गॉट ए लॉट ऑफ सेरामाइड्स राइस एक्सट्रैक्ट राइस ब्रन एक्सट्रैक्ट्स all like very skin soothing kind of ingredients this is not suitable for very oily skin kind of people if you have got a combination to dry skin then this can work for you a very good moisturizer very affordable moisturizer from dot and key it is a fragrance free product also so yeah and i got one more moisturizer this is from minimalist it is a ceramides 0.3% moisturizer with malic acid side malic acid side is a derivative of centella sika extract so i my skin just love sika extract it feels so soothing on my skin earlier i used their uh, version with chamomile I, i think that one is for dry skin and i love that moisturizer so so much it makes my skin so um, i mean hydrated moisturized and it offers a lot of soothing at the same time and somehow it makes my skin look very bright so i got this product and uh, this is also working well for me but i need to test it more to put up like a detailed review of this product this is uh, suitable for oily skin people it has got a very light texture when compared to the other variant in the same line so i am testing this out and i'll put up the detailed review soon next i got one more moisturizer clearly i got so many moisturizers and so many sunscreens so yeah this moisturizer is a new launch from deconstruct it is their 0.2% hyaluronic and 1% squalene moisturizer it has got niacinamide also in the formulation and it has got a lot of ceramides formulation wise this is a very good product so i placed an order for it and um, it has got a little bit of gel cream not exactly like a gel cream more towards cream uh, if you have used like um, minimalist oat moisturizer the texture is very similar to that moisturizer and it adds a lot of hydration moisturization and soothing but if you have combination to oily skin it will feel heavy on the skin i am using this as a night time mask uh, so it suits my skin my skin is combination it, it it suits my skin so beautifully but if you have oily skin it will not work for you and the packaging is not that great uh, the product is kind of leaking when i received the product so yeah uh that's the thing with deconstruct moisturizer i'll be putting up the detail review soon and next we have one moisturizer and one correcting cream from deconstruct first let's see the ceramide and vitamin c daily brightening and repair cream this has got 5% vitamin c sika extract and 1% ceramide complex in the formulation this is somewhat thick to the vitamin c oil oil free moisturizer so if you have dry to combination skin this works like really really well but i feel that this cream is a little less hydrating when compared to the oil free moisturizer that felt like more hydrating when compared to this one but it has got more vitamin c so if you are a beginner with vitamin c and if your skin can't take vitamin c in the form of a serum then you can try this product next we have got kaiser and kojic daily pigmentation correcting cream it has got 2% kojic acid and 1% niacinamide along with it has also got 0.5% glycolic acid Uh, so formulation wise i felt it is a great product and it has got a little bit of thick texture but the thing is it gave me white heads and congested skin i used it twice and it happened both the times it gave me tiny congested white heads all over my face so i stopped using it um yeah i will put up a detailed review of dr shet products then i'll talk more about that product and next i got licorice and lactic acid peel i emptied one tube of this product i love it so much it is very mild yet it exfoliates the skin very well and it adds a nice glow to the skin so if you are looking for a very mild exfoliator then you can try the dr shade licorice and lactic acid peel then we have this hair care product this is from the ordinary it is multi peptide serum for hair density i started using this product but i need to test this more to like kind of give you a detailed review of this product um texture wise it is not very light or not very oily it feels like a light oil um it does not feel that oily on the scalp also but uh, if you are using it for continuous 2 3 days then you can definitely feel that your scalp is getting very oily uh, from this serum then it is like a good serum but i need to test it out to give you like a proper review of this serum like how it helps in uh, promoting hair growth and all i need some time to test it out and i got this love beauty and planet leave in conditioner it is the rice water variant um yeah it is like a nice uh, leave in cream it adds like a 
nice hydration and moisturization and tames frizz to some extent and it still keeps the bounce in the hair so if you are looking for something like that then you can get this one and it has got uh, a little bit of tuberose kind of fragrance so yeah good product from uh, love beauty and planet and i got shampoo in the same line and uh, it is a very good shampoo it cleanses my hair very well it adds like a nice shine but it won't tame your frizz down uh, it won't make your hair soft or something like that it just cleanses uh, your hair very well and it won't lead to further hair fall and it will still keep the bounce in your hair intact so if you are looking for something like that then you can try it it is a sulfate free shampoo i got some pr this is from sugandha it is their 1% acetyl glucosamine and 2% tanthanol hydrating serum it is a good serum it hydrates the skin and it won't feel tacky on the skin so if you are looking for a good hyaluronic acid serum then you can give it a try i have got this anti pigmentation kit which consists of one green tea face wash then this serum and uh, the squalene ceramide moisturizer coming to the face wash it is a good face wash it is a mild face wash but uh, i think the it retails for i think around 700 or 800 so uh, it is a good decent face wash i don't think i have to pay like 700 800 rupees for a good mild decent face wash like i have got we have got options at 250 to 300 rupees for a good mild face wash it is if it is doing something extraordinary for my skin like if it is very very soothing or uh it if it helps with oiliness on my skin then i i won't mind paying a little bit extra but it, but i felt it like a basic face wash so i don't feel like paying 700 800 rupees for a basic face wash so i am not going for that one and uh, coming to the serum uh, the anti pigmentation uh, serum the ingredients are really good the texture is somewhat thick um, uh, and it hydrates the skin very much but you need like you need to give some time like a 30 seconds or 40 seconds for the for the serum to kind of settle down in the skin and um, yeah i have not seen like a very major difference in my skin after using that serum uh, because i expected a lot because it has got a lot of actives like vitamin c niacin my tranexamic acid or something like that it has got a lot of actives yeah alpha arbutin tranex tranexamic acid acetyl glucosamine niacin med so i expected a lot but i have not seen any major differences and it's just a 10 ml bottle so we cannot really judge that uh, i may try it in the future uh, and uh, coming to the moisturizer squalene ceramide moisturizer i am using that moisturizer from a very long time and i really love that moisturizer it is a very good ceramide based moisturizer if you have got skin from combination to uh, dry Uh, so yeah that is uh, with the pigmentation kit and they have sent me this lactic acid and niacin med body lotion again i tried it in the past and it is like a very basic body lotion um i did not feel uh, much exfoliating benefits from that uh, body lotion but ingredients wise if it it is very good so if you want to give it a try you can give it a try i prefer using body lotions with high concentration of actives like 10% something like that because my skin is a little bit mature skin and my skin likes a little bit more exfoliation but if your skin is in early 20s or something like that and your skin prefers uh, less exfoliation then it might work beautifully well on your skin so yeah these are all the products i think i got ah, and i ordered wish care sunscreen and i have not received it yet um, if i receive it by the time of editing then definitely i'll include the pic somewhere and uh, i ordered lip balms and micellar water from t construct i have not received them so with that i am wrapping up today's video i think you enjoyed watching this haul if you did please consider hitting that like button and the subscribe button because that will help me a lot to grow i'll meet you in my next video till then take care bye